The thing about questions is, the way that they're such an effective substitute is that they are a valency farm. They grow valency all the time. Questions are actually the best way of growing authority in the absence of trust for authority. Because they convey implicit authority in an era when explicit authority is doubted or disbelieved. Used in the right way, they withdraw ground from an opposing case as they construct the conditions in which they can be made impossible to answer satisfactorily. What will Scotland's economic growth rate be in 2019 when <coughs> you're independent, for example? What will yours be? Ah, you're just answering me back. But even more genetically planted, questions produce what can be called the Quizmaster effect. Bamba Gascoigne, the late Magnus Magnuson, Jeremy Paxman, Anne Robinson, and many others have created over the years the illusion of an authority which tests the boundaries of omniscience by being in control of answers to questions they ask, which are in reality supplied to them by third parties. It's no coincidence either that in many reality television shows, terminal intensive and interrogatory questioning. To ask the question is to occupy a position of power, and the quizmaster effect makes that power seem uh, 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 illusorily illimitable. <coughs>